Mm. Uh, hello, friends. Sniss here, and... Ooh, wow. Hopefully you're fond of that overlay intro that I made, because it took me all of 20 minutes and actually putting effort into trying to research and design it. But I think it looks pretty nice, but uh, that's besides the point. Welcome back to another Shark Speak. Uh, got a few talking points because I realize now that I haven't uploaded for quite some time, and that's... Eh, I'd, I'd like to upload more frequently than I, than I am. Originally had uh, an eye patch, uh, a magic, magic eye patch from Damien Vid planned, but uh, we'll just leave it at fuck Alex. Don't oh, miss. D22 easy. Shut oh, up, miss, Alex. Miss. <laughs> oh god. I'm calling it, dude. Ooh. I'm telling you. No, 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 no. Oh. No way. Don't worry. Ah! Oh, oh wow, you just had to say it. Shit. Uh, that's rough. Uh, I have not been up to much. Uh, going through some life changes, but those aren't necessarily need to be talked about right now in this video. And I guess some general updates is you may be wondering for whatever reason if you keep up what my Kishmiel is doing. It's in the map right now with me right here. Extra. It's only job right now is to take runes, so I don't level as quickly on this Kana, because I think as everyone knows at this point... Give me one second. Uh, excuse me. I think everyone is aware right now. Kishin's getting nerfed, most likely in the Destiny patch, and it's no longer going to supply the mob increasing effect it currently gives now. Move my Kishin over to the rune to take it, because I don't want that EXP. Okay, now that that's taken care of. Um, the Kishin Mule was originally planned to be a 270-275 mule, so I could Kish myself in uh, hotel arcs and whatever 275 area they decided to introduce for my Thunderbreaker for the purposes of using more than 34 hours of totems a month if I wanted to train more than that. But with the introduction of Kishin being nerfed, and the unknown state of where totems will be, it's not even worth investing in the time to possibly make my Kishmiel a totem meal. Because, again, I don't know if totems will be changed either. So, I've left it. It's at level 266 currently, and that's where it will most likely stay. It's currently just being used as a Kishmiel when I do play lower level mules and get them and train them. Like, uh, currently working on a zero very half-acidly, but I am working on one to 250 mule. It's not going to be a boss mule, but just a 250 mule for that extra 2% bonus EXP from the Legion effect. Uh, in addition, I'm also slowly working on a Shadower that I really enjoy playing, but that will just be a boss mule more than likely. And in addition to that, the Kana is relegated to taking my runes and sitting in my map holding it when I go to MVPs, if I have- well, not in the case of this Kana. This case of right now, it just takes the runes and looks pretty, but it goes- it holds the mouse when I go to MVPs on other characters. So, the Kana dreams are dead, but on- in, I guess within that sort of same realm, I have been grinding on my Thunderbreaker. I'm done for now because, again, with the advent of Kish, nerf and the unknown state of where totems will be after that kish nerf i have taken to farming familiar cards because they do not drop in cernium and beyond and my familiars are decent i have a, currently i have 95 percent boss from my familiars but i would like at least 100 but you know that just depends on if you get lucky enough because god knows that familiars are garbage uh so because we don't know with Kishin, speaking in circles here, but because we don't know what's happening with totems, I figured it's best to preemptively farm familiars right now, just to have a stockpile of them in case, you know, totems do go away, I don't have to, or totems do stay, I don't have to spend them to farm familiars, whereas I would be spending them right now on my Thunderbreaker, and just getting EXP and no familiars. So it's just the opportunity cost kind of thing. Not paying super close to my rotation because I think I just dropped Kish. Maybe not. But we're 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 making our way through. Now I dropped Kish. Not the best farmer, unfortunately, but that's what you get for when you're talking. 
you can probably notice I do have the back pet. Uh, I did drop the hundred or so dollars because I bought two. Uh, I bought one for my Thunderbreaker and one for my Kana. It's not really necessary on the Kana, it just makes my life easier and your opinion on back pets can be whatever. Originally I didn't think I was going to be buying them. Uh, but just the quality of life it supplies is something that I'm willing to fork out the cash for, and I don't regret it whatsoever. I I dislike the 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 way it's modeled, but I don't regret the purchase. Makes me makes my makes do, do, releases dopamine in my brain every time I don't have to go near a meso bag and it gets picked up. Uh. So yeah, the Thunderbreaker is currently 279. I have no plans to train it right now as I'm just trying to stockpile a shit ton of familiars in, for the eventual Kish nerf, and whereas I'll be forced to use the, the 17 totems, if totems stay around, on my Thunderbreaker. And if I need to go past that, well then I'll look into making my Kish mule a totem, uh, totem mule for my for anything in Limina and below, or I guess in this case, Burnium and below, because it is two, level 266. Um, other than that, it's, I was, I have been, it's in the works, but I was making a very big complaint video on the ring swapping in GMS, the current state of ring swapping in GMS. Just thinking about that video right now boils my blood because holy shit, the information I have found out from uh, various sources regarding it, it's, it's not just KMS refusing to fix it, it's, it's at the QA level, they're not acknowledging it as a bug. Which is very funny because, as you may know, uh, they didn't acknowledge Thunderbreaker's Thunderbolt delay as a bug initially. Then they, you know, they fixed it, and then they said, "Oh, it was a bug this entire time." And then title crashing got fixed after I made a, after I made my video, it got that got enough publicity on the that subject, and that got fixed, which was also deemed not a bug originally. So Q and A, uh, at least the current Q and A team or the Q and A team I dealt with back then is garbage at their job, to say the least. Uh, as with any endgame player, I guess, the the, la the next stretch of goals is Saren, since I'm still not clearing. Uh, as is, I think I'm the closest Thunderbreaker in probably all of GMS to a real clear, but if anything, it's, it's the party uh, that is ready to clear, not me. Because <laughs> looking at our last clear, if I remembered one toggle, you know, the most essential toggle being my uh, lightning elemental, 45% IED and 35% damage, we would have cleared that run, but because I had it toggled off for that run, uh, we failed very by a very, very, very slim margin. Or a uh, slim amount of damage needed to actually push us, push us past the threshold. Why did I... I'm not thinking, I'm just farming, just pressing buttons. But yeah, Saren should be on the horizon soon. Hopefully I'll have my first clear within the within the end of the month. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can get it within the end of the month. But do not know when or that'll happen. Because there's there's a there's other factors besides me just not playing poorly too. Because everyone's gotta play consistently too. Because like even if I have a good run doesn't mean everyone else in the party has a good run. But like that that night I had a bad run and that cost us. And I'm still beating myself up about it now because our party has been attempting for probably over a month now, and it's it's rough. It's it's rough. Uh, so I guess the big things right now is I want to get that ring swapping vid out video out because the state of GMS ring swapping is or equipment swapping in general is absolute dog shit, and we don't have the reward rooms, and they're probably not going to be here for another. Like four or five months now, uh, because they were just recently introduced in KMS, and I doubt they'll bundle them with Destiny. But either way, we don't have the reward room, so equipment swapping at the in bosses is painful, and it shouldn't be pain this as painful as it is currently. It should still be painful, just not as painful. And even once they we get the reward room, that doesn't completely fix the issue because I'm a ring swapping class for Oz rings, and like. Since I'm a two minute class, I swap between two Oz rings. Uh, burst classes would swap between an Oz ring and a damage ring if they were really sweating, or even just three different Oz rings if they had mini burst. So, I would like that issue addressed properly, not just brushed off as, oh, so and so sent a video in of a KMS player you know, performing the action. 
Oh, well, they, were, they weren't in combat. Well, of course they weren't in combat, but when we're not in combat, we can't switch rings either. And it, they keep saying they're fix they fixed the issue in multiple patch notes, but it's still not fixed. And to the few people I've talked to about sending in formal bug reports, they've been told it's not a bug, or they've been told it's functioning as intended, as, as I was. Like, there was nothing wrong with the, with the mechanics at hand, which is complete bullshit. I, like I said, talking about that, uh, that video just makes my blood start to boil, because it's such an annoying... Of the various annoying parts of Maple Story, it is one that gets on my nerves constantly because it is something I'm doing every time I boss. Swapping to drop, having to sacrifice a life just to swap to drop, maybe even multiple lives just to swap to drop. Knowing that if I'm on one life in Gloom and I haven't swapped to drop yet, I'm probably not swapping to drop that, that kill or I'll just have to forfeit the clear. Like, shouldn't really be an issue. But it is. Yeah, this this shark speak wasn't didn't have really much su anything of sustenance this time around. Uh, just when it felt like talking and getting something uploaded because definitely feel like I should have something uploaded more often than I currently do. I, yeah, I really can't think of anything else. With all that said and done, I hope you've enjoyed me ranting or. Been able to I've been able to take some time out of your day listening to me rant. Uh, but I will see you in the next Shark Speak when I hopefully have something more a more interesting set of topics to discuss. Bye bye.